On the south end of Springfield, the last half mile of phase one of the Kansas Express Expressway extension is getting ready to open up to traffic. It's the section between Plainview and Weaver. It was a week ago today that the first mile of the roadway opened up. Joe Hickman standing by with more about the latest. Joe? Yes, Steve, we're looking at the tail end of this new section they're opening here at Plainview Road. We're looking to the north. And at some point, those guys are going to take those stanchions down and they're going to open this thing up. They said sometime after rush hour, so we assume not for a while yet. And then we want to show you this is where it ends. And this is going to be phase two. And as you can tell, there's still a lot of work to do. Now, we talked to a woman whose family was actually one of the first to drive on that section that opened last week. And she's hoping to be a part of one of the first to do it again tonight. My husband's an engineer, and so, you know, we get we get excited about strange things like that. So last Friday, Amy Wood Squid, her husband and two children, arrived early to be among the first to drive on the new extension. There were a few other cars that had snuck around the cones and stuff before us, but it was neat to see it from a different perspective and, you know, the nice clean road. And they plan on being among the first again tonight. It's just one of those fun things to do with the kids, to get them excited about change and development and progress in the city. Tonight's opening marks the completion of phase one of the $15.7 million project. Drivers will notice the extension has the four-lane road immediately going down to two lanes with stop signs instead of lights at the major east-west intersections of Weaver and Plainview Road. Road. Lights and additional lanes are possibilities in the future if the traffic volume warrants it, but... As far as when that occurs, I don't think we know that yet. And someone has already used the 10-foot sidewalk as an extra driving lane. And I'm not sure if they were wanting to be the first vehicle that drove that sidewalk, or maybe the sidewalk is so wide they thought that was one of the lanes. The $13 million phase two of the project that runs down to Farm Road 190 is set to be completed by the fall of 2025. And so far, contractors have only been cleaning brush, which has drawn complaints about cutting down too many trees. It's actually a bad habitat situation going on there. So we've been instructed by the fish and wildlife people to hey, remove all the trees. And it seems a little bit uh, overkill, but I think the idea is they're just trying to prevent the bass from getting back in that area. And earlier this week in an unopened section of the road, a stolen ATM machine was found, along with a track hoe from the construction site where someone took that track hoe and beat that ATM machine to pieces to get the money out of it. So, they already got a lot of stuff going on here, and they have not found who did that, by the way. And the ATM machine is gone by now. By the way, see those things? They should be gone pretty soon, too. We just talked to somebody who said they're hoping to open that road between 515 and 530, and we'll be live back here at 6, Steve. So hopefully we'll be looking at the section open by then. Back to you. All right, Joe. Looking forward to